good to see them doing such important Very work. True. Very yeah. True. Now, it's been a historic day for the England football team. The first time ever the women have made it to the final of a World Cup, beating hosts Australia 3-1. Of course, they've already inspired a nation, and now where once budding players would dream of scoring goals like Beckham, they're dreaming of hammering it in like hemp. Well, Bristol Rovers played the match for future footballers at their holiday camp, and we sent our sports reporter there to watch it too and soak up what I imagine was a pretty good atmosphere. <laughs> The Lionesses may have been playing nearly 10,000 miles away in Australia, but there was delight and excitement in Bristol as England beat the hosts to roar into the World Cup final. By kick-off at 11am, the atmosphere at Lockley's Sports Centre was rocking, mirroring that inside the cauldron known as Stadium Australia Down Under. And it got off to the perfect start. Ella Toon's goal in the first half sparked crazy celebrations. They were somewhat muted, though, when Sam Kerr's thunderbolt threatened to ruin the party. But former Bristol City player Lauren Hemp and Alessia Russo ensured that England would be going to the World Cup final on Sunday. The celebrations continued before it was then their turn to take to the pitch and try to emulate their heroes. Bristol Rovers Community Trust run these sessions throughout the summer. Today, obviously a bit different though, with the main focus being on what was happening on the other side of the world. With the Lionesses sustained success, it feels for many there's a newfound love of the sport that has been around for generations. With the World Cup trophy up for grabs for the national team on Sunday, there's a chance to further cement their legacy and give potential stars of the future something bigger to cheer about. Ross Arnott, ITV News. Let's uh, hope it's coming home. Yes. I'm sure it is. Very excited children, very excited adults, in fact, as well. It was tough having to work on our lunchtime news and not get distracted <laughs> by the football. And I must just say, of course, all the build up to that final will be here on ITV1. Kickoff, of course, 11 o'clock on Sunday. Yeah, and you can get all that reaction from the match from Australia when the ITV news continues at 6 30. Here's Lucrezia Millerini.